So I came to renew, oh my God, so, I always gotta be loud and proud. Okay, so I came to uh, renew my license and, um, or not renew it, but like update it. And apparently they're at lunch, so I'm sitting here in my car and I figured I can make another post, so, or another video. Um, I've seen a lot of questions about Ouija boards and this one woman bless this woman's heart okay so she was saying oh you know something about using tarot cards is it as dangerous as a Ouija board you know someone told me they are not to touch them so I'm scared to to learn how to use them now I'm not a tarot card person whatsoever uh my mom is uh, I actually gave decks that I had to my mom um because I just I'm not a tarot card person I'm a rune person I like to read runes um, and I feel a lot of meaning and stuff behind runes, but I am not shaming anybody who likes tarot cards. Everyone has their own thing. Um, everyone uses different divination tools. Uh, to me, it's kind of all one and the same, just different ways of doing it. And I honestly, uh, I can think Ouija boards can be portals. They can open things, uh, and unwelcome things, um, any tool for divination can do that. A pendulum, uh, anything you scry with, um, crystal balls. I mean, whatever you use, whatever whatever work you do, even if you use flame, water, uh, any form of divination is going to be a door. It's going to be an opening because you're welcoming spirits to come talk to you. You know what I'm saying? So... A Ouija board and runes, a Ouija board and tarot cards, it's all one and the same. You're doing uh, work with spirit with all of these tools. These are all just tools. So I told her, I said, you know, these can't be dangerous, but all of them can be dangerous. But you have to know what you're doing. Um, you have to know what you're doing when it comes to opening and welcoming things, closing things properly. And, sorry, I got gum in my mouth. And you have to know how to close, how to protect yourself in your home, wherever you're doing this work. Uh, there have been times where I have forgot to kind of close out properly. I was rushing, something with kids, whatever the case is. And we, activity picked up in our house. And I would immediately tell my mom, because my mom lives with me. I would tell her, oh, you know, I was in the sunroom doing some divination, so <laughs> that might be causing some things to get stirred up. Uh, so you definitely want to watch out how you open and close. That's the only dangers. Um, if you do it properly, you do it respectfully and honorably, um, and you do things the way you're supposed to do them, it's quite easy. It's really not hard to do, and it's not dangerous. Um... You definitely want to protect yourself. You want to ground and protect yourself. And you want to cleanse your house. Uh, you know, ever so often. I would say regularly cleanse your house. Especially if you do a lot of readings. Uh, for me, I would say at least once a month would be pretty good. Maybe even once a week if you do a lot of readings. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was a silly question. All these people were bashing her. And it's like, there's no reason to bash someone who's asking a question. And it's not a stupid and silly question. Honestly, uh, if you give the tools, if you give any tools to someone in any profession who doesn't know what they're doing, it's going to be dangerous. It's going to be scary. Uh, that goes for any occupation. Uh, not just someone who's working with the spirits and the dead. But you are talking about like, for example, you can't just give a chainsaw to someone who's inex inexperienced with chainsaws to cut down a tree who doesn't know how to cut down a tree properly. Um, that would be dangerous. So this is the same thing. You're giving tools to people and these, you know, uh, divination tools to people. They need to know how to properly use them or you can see consequences for your actions. Um, and if anything like that does happen, like I said, just cleanse your house, uh, put up barriers and definitely do some research. Um, some people have their own ways of closing. Um, some people, you know, go off of books and methods that others have used and that's okay. Uh, each, each person has their own. I have my own method of doing it that, uh, you know, that I've created and I feel it works very well. So uh, you just really need to know what you're doing, and it's not dangerous. Simple as that.
But thank you guys. Like my video, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you again.